tried to pick up with the referee. Tried to get in front of Nick. I think he caught the left arm as much as anything. The ball. It was a good chance early in the game. Fair distance out. I always think conditions like this, Mark, when it is wet, is skippy, off the grass surface. I think what the goalkeeper now test is handling early on. Mark and Jones follow it in. Is the goalkeeper? Klaus Jensen is eyeing up the possibilities. Through oh. the direct route. But it's in. And Yule has given Charlton the lead inside five minutes. What a start. And a lovely, lovely goal. Super delicate free kick. And a fantastic header from Jason Yule. And it's just about muscling them out. They're marked really, really tightly. Nothing wrong with the marker at all. You can't get any tighter than this. Is that you, Boeke? Well, I just heart? wonder whether you did get the... Yeah, he yeah, did. did. Yeah. Yeah. Might have been another touch-off F- as well, but it's Jason Yule's goal. Parker. Oh, well, Charlton are pleased to have him back in harness, looking for Jason Yule. Scott Parker damaged an ankle in a pre-season game. He'll probably be out for a couple of weeks, but turned out to be a lot longer than that yeah I think they've missed him missed his energy his quality Mark Fish with the back three across to take the throw and another with the back three Richard Rufus trying to be on the receiving end of it goes over Rufus who's certainly made a nuisance of himself the shot from Musto deflection corner deflection Lovely strike, not his strongest side, but just watch the way he doesn't thrash at it. A lot of people do that when it's on your weaker side, he just controls it, lovely. Uh, very big flick off Garasuke, I think. It certainly would have worked to goalkeeper. Jensen with the corner this time, by Rowett. Middlesbrough struggling to curb with the uh, Charlton restarts. We've got good help. Players who come in, we'll go in in a bunch, you take the ball. We don't get close enough to Rowett, Mark. Oh, working Southgate, the header drops to Robinson. Oh, Bartlett, so close and... Wow, you couldn't quite round it off. Neil Barry's pointed to the corner. Well, when you haven't got a goal in 17 games, as Sean Bartlett's record at the moment, Martin. And this should be his first. This is lovely follow-up play from Robertson. Great little ball. Just messes the header. That's a goal kick. Should have been. Jeremy only played against Powell. Parker. Some space to move into. A lot of space. He's still going. Lovely run. I think the ball's a little too central. And he stands here when he tries to hit it. I think if he'd been able to shift it further to his right hand side, Martin, he might have got better purchase. He's a little bit straight on. Never really threatening the goal when he just starts spinning it right to left, away from goal. A lovely run, that's what he's capable of. That's what I've missed. Many respects this season. Charlton up till now. Well, the Charlton players are very angry with Kudra, it was... Neil Barry looked away, followed the ball and now has an incident to deal with. And he's going to take some advice from his assistant, Gary Britton. I thought it was a pretty good tackle, I have to say, Martin, the ball was in between them. I haven't seen it again, and I think they both go in here, and as again, that's a pretty good tackle. It's both going low, both going for the ball. You watch this in real time. It gets caught, you can see that after the ball's gone, but either one of them could have ended up hot there. I think the officials have got that one pretty much right. Talked about a lot of former players here today. as a former Charlton and indeed a former Middlesbrough manager, Lenny Lawrence, with the... Plenty to say for himself as usual. Yeah. 
Jensen, good angle for Robinson. Good stop by Schwarzer, in comes Powell. And uh, Echion slid across. Charlton so close to the second goal that they're chasing. Uh, lovely football, Kedru gets caught ball watching here. And two reasons why they've got the best defence. One, the goalkeeper. And the other one that came out, a magnificent block from Hugo Echion. Great save and great block. Well, we talk about the centre-backs being good, but this boy's played well this season, Martin, and this exact, look at him, near post, shifts his feet across, makes a good block, and then as it goes out, he's up quickly, but look at that for a block from Echiel. Good defending all round. There's half a chance for Ballard, what a run from Chris Bell. Fabulous. Took the attack all the way to them and when this gets blocked, he's quick enough to just dink this one back in again. This is half a chance for Bartlett, but what a chance for Robinson. Any touch at all would surely have brought the second goal. Place for that up there. Mm. there used to be a time we had to wait for the ball to come back you don't these days of course they can use a replacement straight away but it did bounce down very quickly Middlesbrough getting on with the job Greening parried away and then onto the outside of the post and behind for a corner well, it gets a bit fortunate I think the goalkeeper here is a lovely strike but Having got both hands to it, you do think that he might have pushed it a little bit further away. Seems to get through them. We need the help from the upright. Oh, header from uh, close in, Marinelli. What the champ defenders would have made of Kylie not really coming to that one. It's in there and Klaus Jensen does really well against him. You watch him come from the corner of his six yard box. Look how close together they are. Tugging away at each other's shirt here. Marinelli's unlucky, haven't got the head to it. If it's on target, unless he hits the goalkeeper, he scores. This is Sheffield Parker. A big welcome back to one of Charlton's own. He goes off, having uh, featured prominently in Way Charlton of held this lead. The world is about about Musto. This is Luke Young, who lost his place today. He's asked to see it through in the last to twit also. Southgate. This is the last roll of the dice for Middlesbrough. Kerberu. Oh, two minutes up and more. Charlton are off the bottom thanks to their first home win since March. Their first home points this season. Jason Yule in the fifth minute. Who'd have thought when he scored it, it would win the game. But Charlton were strong enough and organised enough. And Middlesbrough, it has to be said, were off the pace enough for that to happen. Middlesbrough have made an impression this season, a good one. But it is their third away defeat in their last four games on their travels. A much more cheerful Charlton Athletic. Charlton won, Middlesbrough nil. Gary, a change of system for Charlton today. What was the game plan? 
I think really it was uh, to emphasise our play um, rather than worrying about them, which which you know we do sometimes, and you tend to do when you're in a little bit of a um, a slump that which we're in. So I think we tried to be positive and perhaps go. We knew they played three up front, so we tried to go three on three, which um, you know is a dangerous game at times. But we felt we needed to do something a little bit different, and um, you know as, as you can see, it worked. Could you have asked for a better start to the game? No, not at all. No, that's what we need. That's what we've needed. We've said all along, you know, we need a little bit of luck. I know everyone says that, and it's a little bit of a cliche, but um, you know, we've been we've, we've been playing not too badly this season, but we've been losing by a goal, and you know, it's it's um, it, it's very demoralising when it keeps happening. So to go a goal up, you know, just gave us that little bit of emphasis to work even harder. Um, and uh, I mean, to be honest, you know, the, the work rate by the lads was absolutely fantastic. With that in mind, you've been out for the last eight games. How tired are you now? Yeah, I'm not actually too bad because I played in the middle. I didn't have to do. Everyone else did my running for me. So, um, no, it was good. No, I've worked hard, and, and um, you know, it's, I, I was just um, really determined just to try and enjoy it. I mean, if you can do that in our position, but you know, the fact that I've been out for so long with with, with really silly little things, um, and last season, so um, you know, I just tried to enjoy it, and what be- a way to enjoy it and win. With just the one goal though, and 85 minutes left to survive, confidence can't have been high. What was that like? No, it was difficult, but um, you know we were always on the front foot. Um, we never really let them get um, too much of a you know a pattern of play going. We tried to snuff everything out. Um, you know we were tight in midfield. We tried to be tight at the back, um, and the forwards did fantastically well as well. You know they took a lot of pressure off us by holding it up. Um, and although we didn't score another goal, you know we looked as though we could have done, um, which is something that perhaps we haven't done lately. So um, you know it was a it was a good performance all round. Off the bottom, up to fifteenth, and the Barclay Card Man of the Match. Thanks very much. Well Great. Done. Thank you. Well done. Cheers. Well, Alan, has that put a smile back on your face? It's a little bit of relief, you know. I think that uh, to score, what we said before the game, you know, to score early is a bit of a change for us. And certainly, I think no one could work as hard as they worked after that. Um, and I think it was a good performance. I think that the only thing I can uh, complain about is that you know they worked ever so hard to win the ball back and 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 didn't really work that hard to keep it. You know, they gave it straight back to Barrow a lot. But um, I'm well pleased with the result. Surely today isn't a day to complain about anything, though. No, no, because we had to get, we had to win at some stage. Uh, we knew that, and uh, I just wish it had been a little bit earlier. But uh, you know, I think we restricted Bower to one shot in the second half and a uh, couple, couple of goal mouth scrambles, and we had the best chances. And uh, it could have quite easily been two or three. Claire just spoke to Steve McLaren. He said you won purely because of your work ethic and your will to win. Well, I think when you've lost four on the spin at home, you know, if you ain't getting that work ethic, then you're going to be in trouble. And, uh, you know, it's one thing that we've always got. But, uh, you know, we've, we've played better than that and not won. Uh, but I was well pleased with the performance and I think the players that came in, you know, Parker lasted for, for the 70-odd minutes and, and Rowett, obviously, the whole game. And, uh, you know, it's good. that The squad is uh, as strong as we can get it without Graham Shute at the moment. And, um, you know, they're going to have to... Uh, have that competition in there and, and pick some more wins up because uh, it's not nice being down the bottom. You say you weren't panicking, but it must be a relief to shoot up to 15th in the table. Yeah, I mean, I spoke to the players before the game and uh, we was talking about can we kickstart our season because we haven't really got going yet. We should have won a game here, uh, at least out of the four, and uh, as I say, the last away game at Fulham, we should have got something. But it's a tight division and, uh, you know, if you can put two wins on the board on the spin, then you can suddenly move into mid-table. I was going to say, how important do you now build on the back of this? Well, it's nice to keep a clean sheet. Um, that's one thing, and uh, obviously nice that uh, we've scored a goal. Uh, you know, we've been given a lot of stick this week, but there's quite a few clubs underneath us with less goal scored than than what we have. Uh, but obviously, if you're down the bottom, then uh, you know you ain't scoring enough goals. I mean, you're, you're keeping a lid on it, but you must be really big. clean sheet. You've scored a goal, first one at eleven yeah. at home. But you know, you know what happens. Uh, that, you know, we've had all the press down this week, and um, you know, oh, what's it like your bottom of the league or your second from bottom? You know, I'd be no different if we were second from top. Perhaps at the end of the season, when you take me out for a drink, I might be, but I'd be no different if we, if we were second from top now, second from bottom, because, you know, there's so many highs and lows in the season and you've got to keep it uh, nice and uh, even.